new edition of Java Tutorial Class. I'm Aldrin. I'm Raveline. I'm Francia. I'm Jocelyn. I'm Danica. And before you proceed to this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel. So let's do this. Let's go. Yay! Hey. Decision control structures. Isa sa kanila yung if statement is a programming conditional statement that if proved true performs a function or display information. Yung syntax ng if, if condition, open bracket, tapos statement, close bracket, tapos statement ulit. For example, public class if statement, ito yung class name, public static void main string arguments, ito yung method, tapos int number equals 10, at yung int, yung, yung int, ito yung data type. Yung number, ito yung variable. Yung 10, ito yung value ng number. Tapos, dito, mag start magbigay ng condition. If number greater than 0, open curly brace. Tapos, kapag yung na, yung number, yung 10, dito siya, Kapag mas mataas siya sa 0, ang lalabas, itong number is positive. At saka itong, si, this statement is always executed. Ito yung output. The next is, if else statement. A statement that compares two or more sets of data and tests the results. Yung syntax niya, ito. Yung kanina yung if, kung yung kanina yung if, eto lang, wala tong else. Ngayon, dinagdagan siya ng if, ay ng else, bago mag-statement. For example, ganito, yung kanina, 5 yung value ng number. Yan, 5. 5 greater than 0, ang magiging result niya, ito. Kasi, mas mataas yung number kesa dito sa 0. Pero kapag ginawa mo siyang negative 5, ang magiging result niya, ito. Hindi ito lalabas kasi, bali, ang sakop lang nito, statement na to is, kapag yung number is mas mataas kaysa sa 0. Ito naman, ito namang statement na to, lalabas lang siya kapag yung number dito, yung value ng number is mababa kaysa dito sa 0. The last is switch statement. It's a conditional block used as a method of <clears throat> Shortening a long set of if and if statement. Syntax niya, switch, variable, open curly brace, case, literal value, break, default statement. For example, int grid equals 3, string day, switch grid, open curly brace, case 1, day equals good morning, break, case 2, Day, good afternoon. Case 3, day, good evening. Default, day, please greet. Yung value ng 3, dito siya. Kapag binago mo siya ng 2, ginawa mong 2, ang magiging output niya ito. Kapag 1, itong good morning, Kapag yung 3, eto, kapag nag-input ka ng 4, or 
iba pang wala, wala sa 1, 2, 3. Ang lalabas is please greet. Yeah. Hi guys, thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm going to discuss the iteration statement. context of computer programming is a process wherein a set of instructions or structure are repeated in a sequence a specified number of times or until a condition met. When the first set of instruction is executed again, it is called an iteration. When a sequence of instruction is executed in a repeated manner, it is called loop. So, May three types of iteration statement. For statement, while statement, and do while statement. The for statements provide a compact way to iterate over a range of values. Programmers often refer to it as the for loop because of the way in which it repeatedly loops until a particular condition is satisfied. For the syntax of for statement, we have for Parenthesis, initialization, termination, and increment, and open bracket. Next is statements and close bracket. Initialization, expression initialize the loop. It's executed once the loops begins. So next, the termination. Termination, expressions, evaluates to the false. Um, the loop terminates for increment increment expression is invoked after each iteration through the loop it is perfectly acceptable for this expression to increment or decrement a value example for statement class for demo um, for demo is a class name then public static void main string args is a java main method then, we use for statement. So, for um, int i is equal to 1 is initialization. And next is i less than 11 is the termination. And uh, i plus plus is the increment. So, the statement is system.out.println count is plus i. So, ang magiging output niyan is Count is 1, 2, 10. Kasi, yung termination niya is I less than 11. So, less than 11. Kaya, 1 to 10 yung output niya. Why statement? For the why statement, continually execute a block of statements while a particular is, a particular condition is true. For the syntax of why statement, Initialization after while, then condition, and open bracket. Next is the statement, and then sa baba nun, expression, and then close bracket. The while statement evaluates the condition which must return a boolean value. If the condition evaluates to the true, the while statement continuous testing the condition evaluates to false. For example of while statement class while demo is the class name of the program then the public static void main string args is the java main method and yung int count equals 1 is the initialization and then the while Count less than 11 is the condition. System dot up dot print line. Notation count is plus. Count is the statement. Then the count plus plus is the expression of this code. The output is count is 1 to count is 10. So yun lang yun. Next is dual statement. Dual statement evaluates its condition at the bottom of the loop instead of top. Therefore, the statement within the do block are always executed at least once. So, this is the syntax of do while. 
um, the top, in initialization, next is the do and open bracket, then next line is statements, then expression, and the close is the close bracket, then while, then the condition. So, ito yung example ng do while. So, start with class do while demo. So, yung do while demo, yan yung class name ng codes. Tapos, yung public static void main, string args. Ito yung Java method. Then, ito yung tatawag na initialization. Yung int count equals 1. So, dito na tayo sisimula ng do, yung looping natin. Do, open bracket, then ito na yung statement natin, yung system.out.println. Then, quotation, count is plus the count. So, pagkatapos nyan, andito na yung expression, yung count plus plus, then the close bracket, while, then yung count less than 11. So, ito yung magiging output nya. Yung count is 1, 2, count is 10, kasi nga less than 11 yung expression na nilagay natin. Ay, condition pala. Sorry, mali yun ah. Condition yun. Sana may natutunan kayo. Salamat. Bye-bye. Uh. Hi guys! I am going to discuss stuff. by having LIPO, last in or first out ordering principle. So, yung last in, first out, kung ano yung una mong nilagay, siya yung huli mong makukuha. For example, nagligpit ka ng, ng chairs, yung mga monoblock chairs, tapos, so, inano mo siya, inipon mo siya, inistock mo siya. So, yung huli mong nilagay, siya yung huli mong makukuha. Parang ganun. So, may mga terminologies din tayo sa stock. Una, yung push. Push is to add a new element to the stack. So, kung mag ka ng element, yung term na gamit doon sa stack ay push. Pakalawa is pop. Pop is to remove an element from the stack. Pag magtatanggal ka naman, yung term na gamit doon, yun, yung pop. Yung pangatlo, pick. Pick looks at the top element of the stack. Kung ano yung nasa ibabaw ng stack, siya yung, siya yung masisilip or yung, yung mapipick. So, ganito may illustrate ang stack. Ganito yung order of insertion niya. So, kung ano yung una mong nilagay, siya yung mapupunta sa ilalim. Tapos, next. Tapos, next. Yan. Ganito mo naman ipop, yung, ipapap yung elements. So, kung ano yung nasa ibabaw, siya yung unang magpapap. May tatlong klase ng evaluation of expression using stack. Una yung infix. So, pag infix, ang operator na papagitnaan ng dalawang operand. So, dalawang operand, na papagitnaan nila yung operator na plus. Halimbawa ng mga operator ay plus, minus, times, siya, divide. So, yung pangalawa natin ay postfix. Pag postfix naman, nasa dulo yung operator. Halimbawa, A, B, tapos plus. So, ito yung dalawang operand. Tapos, ito yung operator. So, sa prefix naman, nauna yung operator sa dalawang operand. Halimbawa, plus A, B. So, ito yung dalawang operand. Ito yung operator. So, now, we are going to evaluate infix expression to postfix expression. So, yung even, ito. A times B times C. Pero mayroon siyang parenthesis dito. So, una, itong parenthesis muna. So, una is ito. Yan, symbol. So, lalagay na siya, natin siya sa stack. Tapos, empty. Kasi, operand lang naman ang pwedeng ilagay dito sa postfix. So, next is A. So, A sa stack, ito pa lang din kasi yung mga symbol lang ang pwedeng ilagay sa stack. So, dito natin siya i-diretso. Next natin ay yung close parenthesis. So, ganito na yung mangyayari na sa stack. At, mayayari dyan dahil nag-close na sila, nakuha na yung kapares niya. So, itong 
multiply na symbol, mapapap siya papunta dun sa, dito sa postfix. So, AB times. Sad. Eh? So, may na yun pa tayong last na operator dito sa stack. Dapat mauubos siya. Ang gagawin natin, ikakapin na lang natin to. Itong operator na to para maging AB times C times. So, ito na yung ito na yung post-fix natin na expression. Galing in fix. So, hanggang doon na lang yung may tuturo ko at sana may natutunan kayo. Bye-bye-bye! So hi guys, for today I will be discussing about Q. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no. So Q is defined by having a FIFO ordering principle. FIFO means first in, first out. For example, in real life situation, kapag pipila ka sa kahit sa ang fast food chain or kahit saan man yan na may pila, kapag ikaw yung nauna sa pila, ikaw yung unang makakaalis or ikaw yung unang mapagsiservan. So, for example, gumawa tayo ng Q natin. So, ito yung Q natin. So, ang order of insertion niya, dito mauna. Tapos, yung order of removal, ito din. From the bottom. So, itong bottom, tatawagin natin head. Itong taas, tatawagin natin tail. So, kapag nag-insert tayo ng element, dito siya unang napupunta. Tapos, nag -insert, pag nag-insert ulit tayo, hanggang sa papunta siya dito. So, pag nag-remove naman tayo, ito rin yung unang mawawala. Kapag si size, chine-check niya or pinapakita niya sa atin yung kung ilan yung element sa loob ng queue natin. For example, dito. Tatlo yung element natin, so... Ibig sabihin, yung size natin is 3 din. Yung first naman, sinecheck niya naman or pinapakita niya sa atin kung anong number or element yung nasa unahan ng queue natin. For example, ito. Siyempre, ito yung head natin. So, ito yung unahan. Ang tinutukoy na first is itong si 1. So, meron naman tayo dito sample code ng queue. So, itong import java.util.q at that link list. Sila yung gina nag import tayo para tawagin natin yung method na yun or para magamit natin sila. Itong public class Q, ito naman yung class name natin. Itong public static void main string argument, siya yung Java method natin. So, sa line na to, dineclare natin si Q para magkaroon tayo ng empty Q. So, yung variable niya is integer and yung variable name niya is D equals to new link list integers. So, si link list, dineclare natin siya para ma-access natin yung mga elements sa Q from its first element hanggang sa pinakalas element since si Q is ordered by people or first in, first out. So, itong tatlo naman na to, dito tayo nag a ng element. So, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, yun yung mga element na, na inad natin, which is si 2, si 1, and si 3. Yung dot add, siya yung method ng pagdagdag ng element or yung pag-insert. Si D, siya yung variable name na ginamit natin. So, sa line naman na to, system.out.println, current elements of Q plus D, dinidisplay niya yung naka, lahat ng elements na nakapaloob dun sa Q natin. Tapos, itong plus D, parang kinocall out natin yung Q natin na yung variable name is D. So, itong line naman na to, nag-declare tayo ng integer, which is yung variable name niya is remove Q equals to D.remove. So, si D.remove, siya yung method natin kung saan tinatanggal natin yung first element sa loob ng ating Q. Itong next line, system.out.println, remove the elements plus remove Q ito naman yung nagdi-display kung anong element yung tinanggal natin. etong plus remove Q, kinukal natin siya since ang ginamit nating variable name ng integer na tatanggalin is remove Q. Tayo naman na to, system.out.println remove elements plus remove Q. Dito naman niya dinidisplay yung mga tinanggal natin, yung tinanggal nating element. Since etong plus remove Q, 
siya yung variable name ng integer na tinanggal natin. So, next line, system.out.println latest elements of q plus b. Siya naman yung nagdi-display ng mga natirang elements or latest elements after natin mag-remove. Itong line naman na to, int head is equals to dpick. So, nag-declare tayo ng integer na ang variable name is head. Itong d.pick naman, siya yung method na ipapakita or sisilip ng first element dun sa loob ng queue natin since first in, first out tayo. Itong system.out.println head of q plus head, siya naman yung magdi-display ng unang element na nasa loob ng queue natin. Yung latest element since nag-delete tayo kanina or nag-remove tayo. So, ito nga yun naman na to, int size q is equals to d.size. Nag-declare naman tayo dito ng integer na may variable name na size q. Itong d.size naman, another method kung saan binibilang niya kung ilan yung elements sa loob ng queue natin. Itong system.out.println size of latest queue plus size queue, dito naman natin, dito naman display kung ilan yung size sa loob ng queue natin since tinawag natin yung variable name na size queue. Itong d.isempty, is siya naman yung method na parang nagtatanong kung empty ba yung queue na ginawa natin. So, next line, system.out.println is QMT plus this empty. Dito naman na display yung sagot kung empty ba yung queue natin, which is nasasagot ng false or true. Hi everyone! I'm going, as my part for this video, I'm going to talk about the definition of three and the terminologies of the three. Unorganized data in hierarchical structure, and this is a recursive definition. So, ano? Um, nagbigay ako ng example. Ang um, example ko is 1BSIT 2E. So, meron tayong terminologies in 3. The first one is root. Ang root daw is the first node is called the, as root node. Every tree must have a root node. So, Ang root daw is yung pinakaunang binigay sa example. So, ang root natin is 1. Ang edge, edge means the connecting link between any two nodes is called as edge. Ang edge is yung parang arrow. Yung arrow, arrow yung ganyan. So, the next, the next letter is B. So, ang B, kasi mas sa Unicode natin is ang um, mas mataas yung yung letter kesa sa sa number. So, mapupunta sa right yung B. Next letter is S. So, sa dito sa 3 natin, mapupunta siya sa right kasi mas mataas pa din yung B kesa sa S. Next is I. I is mapupunta siya sa right kasi mas mataas yung I sa 1. Next, mapupunta sa right ulit kasi mas mataas yung I sa B. Mapupunta ulit siya sa right. I. Mapupunta naman siya sa left kasi mas mataas na yung S sa kanya. Next is T. Mapupunta siya dito kasi mas mataas yung T sa 1. Mapupunta siya sa right. Mas mataas yung T sa B. And, mapupunta na siya sa right kasi mas mataas na yung T kesa sa S. Pag, kung, kung kunari yung letter T, mas mataas, ha? Pag, kunari yung letter T is mas mataas sa pinakalas na nalagay natin dito sa tree natin, mapupunta palagi siya sa right. Next is yung dash. Yung dash natin, mapupunta siya dito sa left ng number 1. Kasi sa Unicode natin, Ang pinakamababa is yung mga special character. Next is number 2. Number 2 is mapupunta siya dito sa right muna. Kasi mas mataas yung 2 sa 1. Tapos, mapupunta na siya sa left kasi sa Unicode natin, mas mataas pa din yung capital letter ng alphabet. 
kaysa sa number. So, mapupunta yung 2 dito sa left. Next is E. Yung E mapupunta sa sa right. Right again kasi mas mataas yung E sa B. Tapos, yung mas mababa naman na yung E sa S, kaya mapupunta siya dito. And, mas mababa pa din yung E sa I, kaya pupunta siya dito sa left. Yeah. Tapos na yung 3 natin. So, ganito na yung itsura ng 3 natin. So, pupunta na tayo dito sa terminology ng 3 natin. So, kanina sinabi ko na ang root is yung pinakaunang pinakaunang node is yun yung root. So, ang pinakaun nating node is 1. So, kaya siya yung root. Yung edge, sinabi ko kanina, is yung arrow. Siya yung nag-link sa dalawang node. Next is parent. Parent is yung node which predecessor of any node which is called a parent node. So, yung parent is yung may mga anak. Yung 1, yung B, yung S, and yung I. Next is child. Child, the node which is descend, descendant of any node is called as child. Yun naman, yung mga anak ng parent. C dash C B C dash and B anak ni 1 and C2 C S 2 and S is anak siya ng B I and T and CE. Next is child. Child the node which is descendant of any node is called as child node. Yung mga anak ng parent, sila yung child. Obviously. So, yung dash and letter B, sila yung anak ng one. And two, two and S, anak sila ng B. I and T, anak sila ng letter S. And letter E, anak sila, siya ng I. Next is sibling. Sibling is nodes which is belong to the same parent. So, ang, ang siblings dito is pareho lang. Neg dash and B. 2 and S. I. <laughs> Next is siblings. Nodes which is belong to the same parent. Yung the same um yung mag kapatid dito is dash and b are siblings. Two and s are siblings. I and t next is leaf. Leaf are the nodes which does not have a child is called a leaf node. So, si Dash wala siyang anak, kaya siya ay isang leaf. Si to din. Si E, at saka si T. Next is internal nodes. The nodes which has at least one child is called as internal node. Pareho lang siya sa parent. So, 1 and, uh -huh. 1 and B, uh, S and I. Next is degree. Degree, the total number of children of a node is called a degree of that node. Yung degree dito ng, na, kung ilan yung anak niya. Yung 1, the degree of, 1 is 2. Kasi, dalawa yung anak niya. Next is, the degree of, the degree of B is 2 din. Kasi, dalawa din yung anak niya. Same din sa S. And, sa I is isa lang. Kasi, isa lang yung anak niya. Then, sa, sa T is 0. Kasi, wala siyang anak.
pa, para lang din sa to tsaka sa dash. Next is level. Na, level is the pathland of the roof. So, ang level dito, magsistart palagi tayo sa zero. Ang level ng one is level zero. Level one, level two, level three, and level four. Next is height. Height, the longest path length from the root to a leaf. So, ang path niya is... Height pa. Ang height niya is... 1, 2, 3, 4. The height of the tree... Is 4. Next is path. Path, the set of edges from the root to a note. So, magsisimula tayo sa 1, tapos sa pinaka, pinaka malayo. Ang pinaka malayo is letter E. So, 1, B, B, and S, S, and I, plus I, and E. Yun yung pa. Next is, that. Yung depth natin is path length of 1 to E is 4. Next is sub 3. Ang sub 3 dito is itong B to S, I, E, and T. Kasi meron siyang child, meron siyang parent. Next is, isa pang sub-3 dito is yung B2S. Siya lang, tsaka itong STIE. Next is a kind of representation, which is left child, right sitting representation. In this representation, we use list with one type of node, which is consists of three field, namely data field, left child, refer reference field, and the right sibling reference field. Data field stores the actual value of node, which is, in our example, Shayong 1. Next is the left re reference field stores the address of the left child, Ang left, ch left child niya is yung dash. Of the left child. And the right reference field stores the address of the right sibling node. So, in this representation, magiging sa right natin ilalagay yung B. Kasi, siya yung sibling ng dash Next is and 2 i Tama. So ilalagay natin yung 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 edge dito sa left kasi left child niya yung left child ng B yung 2 and sibling ng 2 is yung S. Kaya, yung edge niya is kawag din dito sa, sa right. Next is, yung S is may, may child na I na nasa left. And T. T is a uh, sibling of I. Kaya, magkita yung edge dito. And yung E. Next is linked list representation. In double linked list, every node consists of three fields.
the, the left field is consists of the left child. Ang nasa gitna is yung data. And yung nasa right is yung right child. Sa example natin, syempre ang una is yung root. Yung one. Mapupunta sa left yung dash. Next is B. Mapupunta sa left yung two. Yung, yung S sa right. Next, yung I. And E. Yeah. Next is binary tree traversal. Binary tree traversal is displaying or visiting order of a node in a binary tree. There are three types in binary tree traversal. First is in order, next pre-order, and the last is post-order traversal. In order traversal, we have the left child, the root, and the right child. In pre-order traversal, Meron root, left child, tsaka right child. Sa post order, left child, right child, and then root. So, this is the example for the sample code for binary search in Java. So, ang nini dito ay mag-enter mag ka muna ng number of elements. So, kunwari ang in-input nyo is 5. So, mag-input ka ng limang integer. So, kunwari, ang in-input mo is 5, 3, 4, 1, and 2. So, ang silbi ng arrays that sort is i-arrange niya yung yung in-input mo into ascending. So, kapag dahil dito sa sort na to, magiging siya 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Tapos, i-display niya na dito sa binary search in integer array. Tapos, dito naman, maghingi ulit siya ng kung ano yung isa-search mong element dito sa in-input mong mga integer. So, pagkatapos, mag-display ulit itong search an element, tapos hingi ulit siya, mag scan ulit siya. So, kunwari, ang in-input mo is 1, Ang binary search, ang magdi-display is yung yung 2. Kasi ang counting dito sa binary search is nag start sa 0. So, 0, 1, 2. So, dahil ang in-input mo is 1, ang magdi-display yung 2. Next is yung collection. Sa collection naman, yun yung ina-arrange niya yung mga in-input mong integer ng pababa. So, kunwari, ang mag-display dyan is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ito yung, ito yung syntax no sa collection. So, tapos pag nag-search tayo ng ano ulit, kunwari, pang 4, ang mag-display is yung 1 kasi siya yung pinakalas. So, doon na po nag end yung discussion ko about binary tree and binary search. Thank you!